Well, I took up the cross You left for me Took up the cross mm, That set me free From trouble time The victory Took up the cross that set me free. separately. 
Marriage is a gift of God. Today, by divine authority and providence, you two have come, in a unique sense, to become one flesh, to complete the lives of each other. Who pre presents this woman to be married to this man? I, Uncle Ray. Right. Thanks. Two of you have come today to make a love commitment to each other and to give yourselves to other. Mitch and Vicki, I ask you now to join both your hands. To be your what? Er, Mitch, do you take Vicki? whose hand you now hold to be your wife, and do you promise before God and this company that you will be truly devoted husband? I do. say that. I would ask you to take Vicky's ring and place it on her finger and repeat after me. This ring I give to you as a token and pledge of our faith. 
faith and love. To our faith and love. Vicki, I would ask you to take Mitch's ring, place it on his finger, and repeat after me. This ring I give you, this ring I give you. as a token and pledge. Of our faith and love. The small in size, these rings are very large in significance. Made of precious metal, they remind us that love is not cheap or common. Indeed, love may cost us dearly. Made in a circle, their design tells us that love must never come to an end. It must we must keep it continuously. As you wear these rings, whether together or apart, for a moment, may they be constant reminders of these glad promises you have just made. Promises not just to each other, but to God. By exchanging these rings, emblems of purity and true devotion, you do each other wed, and your wedding vows are forever sealed. Mitch and Vicki, you have come before us today and before God and have expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You have shown your love and affection by joining hands, have made promises of faith and devotion to each other, and have sealed these promises by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, by the authority given me by God as an ordained minister of his word, and by the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Let God is joined together, but no man to separate.